Cheers, everybody. Welcome back to another bespoke beer review for the beer connoisseur out there. Like you do. <laughs> we have got a collaboration with the Salt Beer Factory and someone called Hoppers. I should have done some research on this beer, but it was self-explanatory on the back of the can. So anyway, we've got a can of Toddy Ale. Hoppers and Salt Beer Factory. There you go. Super smashing great. Clocking in at 4.8% ABV. <clears throat> there you go. It says, what is Toddy Ale? It says, a pale ale inspired by Toddy. Good answer. The natural fermented spirit made from the sap of the coconut flour. Full bodied and juicy with tropical and stone fruit aromas. The addition of fresh coconut results in a smooth and creamy mouthfeel i'm looking forward to this it sounds a little bit different sounds a little bit different so let's crack this open and see how much coconut i get not really hang on get rid of it that's the last one not really i'm getting more tropical aroma than anything in this um very much tropical citrus like aromas not really getting any coconut as such but you know best thing to do is to you know it might be in the taste at the end of the day it might be in the taste so being a glass as you can see very pale hazy looking stick that there very pale hazy looking very pale actually chalky looking if you know what I mean, a little dusting of head on her. That's really pale looking. It's like coconut milk. <laughs> I'll get on with it. Um, yeah, you do get the inkling of tropicalness, citrusness there. There is, I will say, an essence of coconut about it, but I wouldn't really go overboard saying it does smell predominantly, you know, balanced tropicalness and coconut it's, the tropical notes really do overpower the coconut but the truth is in the taste isn't it boys and girls so i'm gonna go in so cheers everybody yeah you get bits of coconut yeah it's there but I think it's overpowered by the tropical fruit notes in this. Um, is it is it tasty? Is it nice? When it's tasty, it's very, very nice. <laughs> um, you know, from the description on the can, you're expecting a big, big coconut hit. Not as maybe as big as eating a bunch of bounty bars, but you want a big swathe of coconut just to show its presence in the taste and i'm not really getting that as such what i'm getting is lovely beautiful tropical notes in this i'm not going to rattle them off because i rattle them off in every beer review i do but you got the coconut just backing it up if you know what i mean susie drink it susie swallow it should i say the coconut you can pick the coconut out so it is very very nice it is it's 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 very very pleasant um going again it says smooth and creamy mouthfeel on the can smooth is it necessarily creamy that's open to debate for me um I'm just looking if any they list any hops. I haven't listed any hops in it. They're saying they've got coconut and yeast um, in the ingredients, obviously, but it's nice. It is. It's nice. It's pleasant. It's pleasant. Um, I like it. The more I drink it, the more I like it. So I suppose meeting a, a new acquaintance at a, a gathering you know the more i get to know that person the more i like it 
a little bit like this beer. <laughs> the more I drink it, the more I like it. <laughs> Going again. Hmm. Tasty tropical fruit notes. Lovely, lovely hint of coconut on the back end. It's it's really nice. I like this one, as I keep saying, and I hope you do too if you try it. Um, hoppers and salt, the toddy ale, well worth getting hold of, boys and girls. Well worth getting hold of. See all of you on my next one. So cheers.